Drew, little Miss Messy, Mess, Mess, Messy. Why are you calling Candy? Well, you know I don't like this lady. You're messy. You wanted to do something, but you know what I did notice? Courtney gave her like a little side eye too when she said like, like Courtney know because Courtney said I'm gonna go talk to the fellas while you do that. Invite her mm -hmm. to our performance. Right. I'm gonna go talk to the boys while you do that. Yeah, yeah. Because she knew that homegirl was trying to be messy. What? I don't ever want to be messy. I actually think that Courtney wants to be in Candy's good graces. I, I think too. the show, she came off wrong on the show. I think actually she wants to be friends with Candy. I'm not looking for new friends. What's up, what's up, what's up? And welcome back to my, my two cent. I am Miss O and she is Charisma. And today we are discussing The Real Housewives of Atlanta, episode Trey. three, The Fakery. Yes, yes, yes. The episode was full of fake, 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 fake energy and fake drama. But let's get right into it. Okay, so as I mentioned, this episode was dripping with fakery. You need to <laughs> We're going to start with drew and ralph um oh, yeah the relationship between the two of them it just seems fake i know there you go perfect oh, keep your legs up keep your legs so you run into the wall jesus drew that was so hard all right they give me that they want to be like the ideal couple you know what they remind me of who they remind me of why'd i get married uh janet jackson what's that was called patricia and gavin okay. like they want to save face and want to make sure no, there's no mess up. There's no errors over here. Right, right. We're great. We're great. And then next thing you know, behind closed doors, what the heck? Right, right. Because they also said that she did say at one point they were in therapy. Mm -hmm. um, they were not in a great space, but they are in a much better space now. But it just seems like a fake space is where they are. Right. Last year, things got a little rocky between Ralph and I. And we started seeing Dr. Kim for marriage counseling. She's okay. always, Drew's an actor. So I feel like she's always acting. But you know what I do feel? I feel actors really have no personality for real. So they always have to pick a personality, whatever fits best. And yeah, I feel like, like, a like a chameleon. Yeah. So they don't really, I don't think she really have a true identity for real. So she just, okay, I'm going to be this personality today. <laughs> Right, wow, exactly. okay. Yeah, That's great. And, and you can see the relationship, like I said, with her and her husband, the extra oohs and ahs and honeys and sweethearts and oh my God, oh my goodness. And you know, in, in different points you can also see where she'll say something and then he'll pause. Like it's a trigger, or vice versa, you know. Uh, he'll say something and she'll pause. Like they're digging deep into their therapy bag to, <laughs> to make sure they don't explode and get off track. But I, I see straight through you, boo boo. I, I see <laughs> through you and your husband with his little painted on smile. Every episode. Yes, very baby, Hollywood, yes. very sing. Does he, does he act? Because if he does, it. no, he produced. He produced. Okay, well, he gets into acting too because he acts very well as well. He like Pooch Hall. Who's that? The dude from the game. Okay, the show yeah. of the game. Yep, I can see it. I can see mm -hmm. it. So definitely some fakery going on there. <laughs> and then we move on to Drew and Courtney. This voice is like nails on the chalkboard. <sighs> they give the same thing. <laughs> yeah, fake energy. Once again, uh, Drew, you just met Courtney <laughs> two days ago. Oh my God! How is she cool. your bestie? How is she? She running? How is she your old dog when you just met her? Which was true. It's so fake. You know, and they're loud with their fakeness too. I'm like, it's too, too. Much, yeah, it's too much noise in that house. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Girl, uh, calm down. There's kids in the back. <laughs> they very Hollywood over the top. That's what I just get. We're gonna right. too much. That, Not that, my cup. Yeah, of tea. That, that's definitely Courtney. Courtney is trying to make herself relevant in the housewives uh, episode. So that she can no, come she, back she and did be a housewife. Let me tell you how she did it. I believe she is going to be a, a housewife next I'm season. Saying she's Let me tell herself. you why. Because I saw it when I went on a page. Mm -hmm. And you know when they show the show, they show the pictures of all the housewives. Mm -hmm. But they got 
one with her in it. Which was true. Well, she's not a housewife, but they got her own little segment where they show her. I'm like, they about to put her on next season. All right, see how they gearing it up. She's giving them what they want. Yeah, she's a messy <laughs> bitch. So she's giving them a messy bitch, and she's going to be on the next season as one of the Hashtag clout chasing Courtney. Okay. Yes, yes. She clout got her court. clout. She got her moment. <laughs> yeah. The, the energy between her and Drew. Fake, fake, fakery once again. And then we move on to Drew and Marlo. The whole incident where Marlo blew up at Drew. For me, the fake injury was more on Marlo than it was on Drew. It's like yeah. she was upset about something that Drew did or didn't say when it pertained to the incident at Candy's store. I just feel like there was a there's some kind of underlying animosity that Marlo has towards Drew or everybody, anybody, and it just came out. Yeah, it just seemed like yeah. she was over the top. They said anything. that was after production. They said it was 30 minutes after production wrap. To me, I just think Marlo's an angry person. I just think she's not happy with how some of her choices in her life went. And then I also think that the real issue was never with Drew. Mm -hmm. It was with Candy. But when it comes to Candy, they get that broom, the little Swiffer, and they just sweep it right up underneath the rug. Like, mm -hmm. that's the person who she really she got an issue with. And mm -hmm. I feel like, mm -hmm. I feel like Marlo was more hurt by Candy. Because when you see them talk, it's like, it's not how when you see how Marlo went off on Drew. Mm -hmm. When Candy's like, girl, I'm tired. I'm whatever. I'm not this. Da, 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 da. It's just like they had a real friendship and it just ended bad. Mm -hmm. And she just didn't like the fact. Just nitpicking. Mm -hmm. Just nitpicking at Drew. You said this like you couldn't say this at Candy Shop or you couldn't say da da da. And the whole I had to watch it two, three times because I didn't understand what the real issue was. Still don't understand what the real issue is. Can y'all explain in the comments? Let us know what is the real issue. Cause I don't get it. Right. I don't. Right. It's, to me, it was just fake energy. Marlo needed a moment. Like quiet is kept. I think she back to, you know, a little coming bit. on set a little tipsy and she just making up stuff. Sure. I, they did I, they did make that uh when Sheree was in the kitchen with her chef, they did show that bottle and was like Marlo can drink this whole bottle by herself alone. Marlo can drink two of these by oh, herself. Oh, yeah, she's going to finish that by herself. Right, so. she, she's coming off a little, where you coming from? Like, <laughs> I don't know. No sense. Right. Come yeah, on. that's definitely some fake energy going on there. Okay, so now we move on to the fake drama, the fake mess. A whole lot of that going on. Too, too much. Yeah. My life. <laughs> so first, we see uh, Drew mm -hmm. and Courtney. Right. And then Drew decides, let me call Candy. Let me just get some mess going. Let me just call Candy. My thing is this, Drew, little Miss Messy, Mess, Mess, Messy. Why are you calling Candy when you got Courtney at your house and you know Courtney and Candy don't get along? That's just messy. Hold on, let me FaceTime Candy real quick. I'm about to act like this bitch. She tried to play it crazy. That's what she tried to do. I didn't know. I didn't know. Well, you know I don't like this lady. Was like, I wasn't there. I, I didn't get that. Out. You know that your husband told you that Candy and Courtney got into it. Right. And then you calling her. You're messy. You wanted to do something. But you know what I did notice? Courtney gave her like a little side eye too when she said it like. Like Courtney know. Because Courtney said, I'm going to go talk to the fellas while you do that. Invite her mm -hmm. to our performance. Right. I'm, I'm going to go talk to the boys while you do that. Yeah. Because she knew that homegirl was trying to be messy what i don't ever want to be messy and yeah. she didn't want to be into that messy box i actually think that courtney wants to be in candy's good graces i, I think too. the show she came off wrong on the show and i think she's doing extra hype for the show but i think actually she wants to be friends with candy i'm not looking for new friends because it would be a great alliance. Why would you not want to be friends with Candy when Candy is doing all the things that you want to do? I'm not looking for new friends. Like Candy says, she worldwide. She brings right. everybody She's out. She's doing everything bring you want to do. everybody out. And Courtney brings no one out. Cricket. <laughs> brings cricket. <laughs> Ex-baby daddy. What's his name? Bryce? I don't know who he is or what group he was, but he was fine then. But not now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember but back in the day. I had no idea that he had a baby. My Miss Crazy. But hey, right. It is what it Hashtag is. Hashtag Cloud Chasing Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we move on to the next mess uh, in the episode. We had Kenya 
Drew and Sonya. After um, Drew did her little, her little 2.5 second, woo, woo, woo. Yeah, that's 2. What they say, 5 woo, second woo, woo, performance. Woo, woo, woo. Explain why you just had like a small woo 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 moment. <laughs> After she did that, um, Kenya made it a point to tell Drew that, oh, guess what? Sonya gave you a standing ovation. Sonya was giving you a, a standing ovation. Shut up. To me, it sounds like Kenya was trying to start a pot. She was trying to get some mess started because she know that Sonya and Drew are not on good terms. But that's Kenya. Kenya is just messy. She's messy like, all day. Yeah, so I, I don't expect anything more or less from her than bring the mess. Yeah. She do, It's funny, though, because she brings, like, she says things that people be thinking, like, oh, you did that. But we know not to say it in the moment, not to make a deal, but it's like, she's, I'm going to say it. I have no filter, no regards. Right. She <laughs> but the interesting thing is that I think Kenya thought that it was going to be a little messier than it was and actually drew and uh Sonya end up hugging it out. So it didn't blow up the way right. she probably thought it would play out on TV. So that was a good thing on Sonya and Drew's part that they didn't feed into Kenya's mess. But to me, it's crazy, it's funny, it's ironic. To me, they're both of the mm -hmm. same people. Drew and Sonya, mm -hmm. they both don't want to be the problem. They don't want to seem like they're confrontational, but they do problematic things. You do stuff that cause issues, right? Which right. leads to our next topic. <laughs> <laughs> well, alrighty then. Uh -uh. <laughs> then we have the mess continuing with Courtney and Candy. I added Sonya in there. Because <laughs> she's part of the problem. <laughs> like, like that. Let me just say, who the hell do you think you fooling? Uh, <laughs> uh, court. When you called Candy ghetto or uh, inferred that the traffic she brought out was ghetto, you knew damn well that was an insult. The crowd ghetto. Now you <laughs> tap dancing in a whole nother direction, talking about it was like it was a compliment. I'm from the hood. I'm from the ghetto. I love ghetto. Who says that? Nobody Please. from the ghetto says that. I said ghetto people started to come, which was true. And I also doubled down that I like ghetto and I love it. My family is hood. No. Do we look like boo boo the food? We know damn well you were throwing shade on Candy, trying to get you a little moment, then and there. <laughs> Didn't expect Candy to be in your face talking about it and spending it the way it really is. You were throwing shade. Now you tap dancing in another direction. I stand up. Girl, bye. You sit, you're sitting down. You're not standing <laughs> on nothing. And this is why I said Sonia is part of that problem. She didn't expect Candy to, to sit there and bring it up. Mm -hmm. Courtney didn't expect Sonia to go back and run and tell Candy. Messy, messy, messy. And you can tell when Candy starts to talk and Sonia look uncomfortable. You can brought the ghetto out of the hood out. You just tell when somebody like, oh, man, I didn't want it. Try to say this information right here and there. I'm on the spot because you keep doing stuff to put you in the right, hot seat. Right, right. So to me, science is the root <laughs> of, of, the the problem. of the problem because <laughs> she's playing both sides. Right. And it's Sonya and Drew are both uh, fence riders. They, just, they yep. ride the fence. One of the same. Depending on what or who they're on this side or that side of the fence. So. You know, it's just fakery, 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 a whole episode of fakeness. <laughs> like I said, Courtney, at this point, is giving very much pressed, obsessed, because why do you keep coming for Candy? It's like, why do you even care, right? Like, uh, Candy not even paying to girl. I bring everybody out. I'm with her right, on that one. Right, like I bring that. the hood, the ghetto, the bougies, the elite. I bring everybody, everybody out. to the party. Okay. So, yeah, see, Courtney just want to be. She just want to be that girl out. And she is not, not that, that girl. girl. She's just not. <laughs> <laughs> so that is our synopsis on Real Housewives of Atlanta episode so, Trey. three. <laughs> and internet got a question. If you notice, like I noticed, and she noticed, and we noticed, there was two outfits <laughs> <laughs> in this episode that hmm, made me think. The one outfit that Candy had on. Mm -hmm. Little drummer girl outfit with the 
do up the did did on the head mm -hmm. and the one outfit at the very end that Marlo had on with the Gucci. sheer Gucci pants and the, the drawers. Now, my question to you, do you think those outfits were appropriate for the event that they were going to? No. Or were they age appropriate? Because for Marlo, she's too grown to wear the panties outside. Our story, baby. Okay. <laughs> That's what I said. Panties. And Candy, <laughs> you going to a, a game. Why are you dressed like a little drummer boy? I don't know. She said her husband back in town, so she wanted to show him that she's still grown. She can show him that in the bedroom. Why are you dressed like a risque little drummer boy? I don't understand. Not a risque drummer boy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Let us know. Drop your two cents below. See ya.